Welcome to all the classic car enthusiasts, especially the mini guys. Um, okay, so we've got on with a bit more work. The headline is done with a lot of patience from Amir. Where's he washing up, I think? Oh, yeah. oh you there. Uh, a lot of patience from him. And uh, you can see the glass is in, but I'll show you there's no glass in this one. You can see how she is inside. A little bit of a ripple there on that corner, but the rest is spot on the money. Just that little bit there. I think that's actually where I cut it a little bit too far. I remember I was talking about not cutting them. The one that Tom had where it was pre-cut I think were better. Anyway, so the glass is all in. Uh, we can't put these in because I need these new rubbers for here. And unfortunately I don't have them. We've got all the mechanism and everything ready. Um, and the rear window, again, unfortunately what happened with that was one of the tags you know, there's a tag that attaches to the glass, it's come off, and, and you can't solder them or anything. I don't think you can. Anyway, so I have to pay 72 quid for another another rear window, um, even though probably chances I won't use it. Okay, so the boot. Um, a couple of people asked me to show them the, the boot. I don't know. Are you there, Mia? Oh. I'll maybe get Amir to uh, uh, quickly film it. Because um, I can't hold it and to sh kind of show you. You can just hold that just to show him the, okay. and I'll open the boot. Okay. So you got a good shot of it. Yeah. So you basically just open the boot, and then it opens itself. So this is these are Audi A4 engines from the boot. Uh, these, and then we I made a bracket for them, and then you just close it. And that's it. And it opens halfway because the rams are quite old and I'm not going to put new rams on it, there's no need to do it. But it will fold right at 90 degrees. So okay, so that's that one. On the sorry, can I put the thanks mate? Yeah. It's starting to flash off, I think. Uh, on the windscreen, um, one of the things we took this windscreen out three times because we did some repair, or I did some repair to this lower pillar and on the other side. Uh, and I'll tell you what now I've realised is with the next car, if we do any work, because they do, do go here, is put the rubber in first and see if the line along that front, along that front panel is the same. If it's not, make sure it's because it's an absolute sod to get in. Anyway, so, um, yeah, it's in, a lot of work. Um, the tool they use for this, I'm not sure where it is now, but we've got the kind of cheap one without the roller on it. I don't know if the roller's better. There's another style. Oh, yeah, there it is. There's this style here, which is like a diamond-shaped one. This is the cheap one, but there's another one that's like a, a, a little nylon roller at the back, and it forces it in as you go. But it's a lot of hard work. Uh, and again, Amir persevered with it, but he got it in. So uh, his wrists are killing him because they are. You've really got to wiggle this thing. You can't go putting little screwdrivers under. You just you just rip the rip the edges and rip the sides. Anyway, but as I say, it's all in. Um, yeah. So we haven't put the the back cardboard in at the moment because we have to cut them for these uh, for these um, seat belt things uh, and unfortunately I've got to redo this because obviously this was an SPI and it needs this style of uh, grommet in it but I only need one so I'll use the middle one or something because I'm making it into into a uh, carburetted version so anyway so there you are that's how it works there isn't any seal in that yet that's why it's a little bit indentated but not much but we will put a seal in it but a different style of seal uh, yeah so that's what we're at. Um, and for the Jag guys, I've done finished this up. Um, you can see here, uh, I actually built this in two pieces in the end. You can see where the, the thing is in it. Because I've only got a 55 um, centimetre length on, on that bending tool there, you can see. This is only 50, so it's from Frost this, and there's only 55. So in the end up, I made it in two pieces rather than make another bender. Um, I've left the inside, this has got welded primer on it, but I'll just show you the other side. So you can see how it's been done. And you can see there, it's all been welded with an over flap on it all the way around. 
So what I do now is I clean all that up. Not that it's necessary to, but I'll clean all that up. And then, but this will all be sandblasted. So we'll sandblast the whole thing together. But just to stop it going rusty for a few weeks. And uh, as I say, you can see, I've just got one piece to do now. I've just got to fill in that end there. And you can see it fits really nice. But what I'm really pleased about more than anything is the, is the uh, angle on it. You can see, you can see that it's, that it's good all the way down. And all I've got to do now is basically lead load in here. Because you see this bottom panel, you, this, this you don't see because there's a door card on it. And just to quickly last finish off, this is one of the door cards. And maybe Hamir can hold it out for me. Maybe he's, he has got clean hands now. And but just to show you, this is where the idea came from my wife. She said, it's, it's the right panel, I think. Yeah, it's the right one, yeah, yeah. So you just shove the door card up into the into the thing. You can see this is why we went for it. It's not a perfect match, but I mean, you know, this is near as damn it, and especially with the black on it, the black black. The seats are the same colour, but with black piping and cobra written into the seats on the top, which you'll probably see tomorrow maybe, because I've got to put some, I've got to pick up some silver foil backing, but they look nice, don't they? So. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Um, maybe tomorrow when we get a bit more done. So, uh, and we'll go from there. So, uh, we'll go from there and see what you think. Anyway, bye for now. Take care. Have a, have a good what's left of the weekend. Bye. Bye.